and third front leaders are going to be meeting with Mayavati this coming Sunday. They may also be trying to work out the front's common minimum program. And let's now turn to one of the people who's the architect, I guess, of the third front. The CPM has been trying to put this together for a long, long time, a non-Congress, non-BJP alternative. Has its time finally come or is it once again going to flatter to deceive? No, I think there is a certain momentum now because I think the, the failure of the policies of the Congress-led alliance and people have also seen what the BJP-led alliance had to give this country. And I think there is time for a change and uh, therefore the momentum for an alternative platform, a platform, I wouldn't call it the third front, but certainly a, a platform f uh, which would project alternative policies. Okay. Uh, which it's... would have a very direct impact on people's lives. Now, you obviously believe in a certain ideology. Many of the other parties who are in this grouping, if you can call them that, if not the third front, don't necessarily follow that ideology. So, what, what the Congress and the BJP seem to be saying today is this is fine before the election because they don't want to get into pre-poll alliances. After the elections, they'll be only too ready to go and sign up either with the NDA or with the UPA, depending on who's got a better shot. In their dreams. Well, it's happened in the past. In it's not entirely dreams. in their dreams. The, the, the fact of the matter is that, A, as far as pre-poll alliances are concerned, there are pre-poll alliances in many states. There are seat, uh, understanding of seat sharing in some states. In some states, it could be a post-poll alliance. So there are different aspects of how these forces are coming together. And I can tell you, because the reality is that people do want to change. Okay. And they want to change in policies, not just in individuals or in, you know, kisi neta ki shakal dek karne. So they do want to change in policies, and I believe the time for the third front or an alternative platform is very much there. Okay, now, again, I'm coming back to the ideologies that the CPM in, in, you know, uh, aspires to. If you're in a situation where, for example, you're supporting Mayavati as Prime Minister, it's not that all the policies she follows or some of the practices that she puts into place, the governance standards, if I can call them that, corruption in other words, uh, would you be happy with that, supporting all of that? Well, look at what happened in 2004. We had nothing in common with the Congress. It was not as though we supported Manmohan Singh Ji for the Prime Minister's post. We supported a set of policies which was reflected in the UPA's common minimum program. Similarly, after the elections, looking at the numbers the different parties have, there will have to be, for the CPM to support them, obviously there has to be a policy-based document. It has to be based on policies. We're not really interested in this or that individual. And also I would like to say I don't really agree with the way that you know, your, your channel is saying who's the boss and who's not the okay, boss. Okay, so I, who is I, going I, to be the boss? I, you know, the, look at it from a different point of view. You know, it's the culture today that you have this or that leader, some by family connections and others because, you know, they, they have no alternatives or they would like to have an, a younger alternative, but they can't find one. Okay. But here you have leaders who have built up a mass base in their own states, who are recognized as leaders coming together in a front. What could be better for this country? Okay. We will still, of course, wait to see if you can agree on a set of policies that all of you aspire to yes. and that the governance that is then delivered is also right. at the standard that everyone will want. But we should look forward to how the, how the, how the front or the alternative proceeds. Thanks a lot for joining us in the Thank studio. You. Thanks.